Hey guys, Carl Galler here with Carl Galler Builds. Another day, another weld, another grind. We're getting there. Today I am going to start working on the bodywork. Try to grind and weld in the uh, seams. Okay, so I'm going to secure these doors. Um, obviously get rid of this rubber padding and uh, grind the bottom of the doors, grind the top of the uh, rocker panels, which are metal. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more trimming over here, kind of do some final shaping. I've avoided cutting this inside wall uh, until I'm kind of sure what I'm gonna be doing with the um, flexible uh, conduit. We're gonna be coming up here I think I'm going to be coming around underneath of the um, roll bar. We'll see how it plays out. I have to even out both, both these sides. I'm going to take this side down a little bit lower to match that side rather than add metal back on the other side. Uh, I can barely get by with my welding right now as it is. So yeah, this side I had already removed that the rubber strip. I am going to keep the inner rubber strip because that is you know, just kind of a little bit of trim that will fill that gap. One less thing I got to worry about. You can see I've started grinding over here, but I got to grind the bottom of these doors and the top of the um, rocker panel. All right, so I got this, uh, I guess, sill protector um, out. We'll put that in a safe place. Um, now I'm going to uh, grind the top of this running board. I'm also going to have to get some, I don't know if I'd be able to use hanger metal or just some some um, metal stock, rolled stock to fill up this gap because my welding rod is not going to fill that all up. Also going to work on cutting this and uh, I did get this uh, this rubber kind of seal back here just to fill that gap and I you know, we'll see. I, I, it's it, it's set up to accept, I think, a door card. We'll see if um, I, have, I still have that inside trim, so that might finish things off nicely. All right, so I'm chipping away at the inner structure. This was the uh, side by, uh, side impact protection. That shit is solid. Let me tell you, it's like. It's, it's, 16th inch folded three times squash tube it's pretty good that ain't gonna be there no mo so anyway uh i'm trying to kind of get approximate this level so i can cap this off um here is my main fuse panel which no matter what i do here i need to leave that accessible so which is why i came down here so i'm working away at that inner the inner, inner panel i think uh and also, I have ground this down to prepare it for welding. The skin. This, of course, is plastic, so there won't be any welding there. I got a little nick out of it. We'll put a bead of weld here. Um, just to fill the gap, really, and then do the, do the body work. And then whatever I finish this off with is going to be welded to that. So, this is a... Uh, this is a total kind of work in progress, um, kind of off the uh, off the cuff. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers is uh, Bad Chad, uh, the creator of the Green Brad Goblin, Jolene. Um, so uh, Brad just grabs shit out of his shop and sticks it together and welds it and holds uses paint cans to put stuff together. Um, you know, so just goes to show that you don't have to plan every single thing out on your build. Uh, you can kind of go off the cuff if you've got a little bit of creativity and ingenuity. Uh, you can figure stuff out as you go along. So, I mean, my plans have changed several times for how I'm going to cap this. Um, and uh, who knows how the final iteration is going to come out. But uh, all I know is I'm getting excited. I, get, I want to get this thing on the road. So, wish me luck. All right. So, what I'm trying to do is uh, trying to get this radius down here. Um, the same semi-level from the outside. So I was thinking about I could just drill 
some holes, make some dimples at least. So give me dot to dot, give me kind of an approximation of the curve that I'm looking for. Once again, I'm using the bad Chad method of winging it. Because as bad Chad would say, I'm gonna do it because I can. And if it makes me happy, that's all that matters. So, anyway, that's my homage to Bad Chad. Really good guy and a hell of a builder. I keep this thing down here to kind of sort of try to keep some of that grinding dust off of the, uh, off of my fuse panel. Fire in the hole! <laughs> More of that double wall stuff. What are you gonna do about all that side protection that you're removing? Oh my God. It's gonna be just as unsafe as a motorcycle that I rode for 40 years. <clears throat> oh my God. But it's gonna be unsafe. La la la. Alright. Drill holes. Just a basic guideline. Another one of my new favorite places, Alro Metal Outlets here on 49th Street in, I guess we're still in Largo. It is a metal supply house. There's all the sheet metals, diamond plate, corrugated, aluminum stock. They've got everything. And uh, there is my 18 gauge sheet metal that is being taken over to the shear for some rough cuts. There's a part of my beach buggy. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you a magic trick. My little 2005 Volvo S80 sedan versus a 4 by 8 excuse me, 4 by 10 foot section of uh, 18 gauge stainless uh, 18 gauge mild steel. Had a couple 5 inch by 10 foot sections cut. stuff in this crazy little car. quarter inch. Uh, this is to fill the gap between the door and the body. Hey guys, another day. That's the running joke. 
Uh, but it was just yesterday that I did the grinding and the straightening of this particular line here. Come straight down. All right. So, you guys know I gave it the old college try. I tried bending with a 16 ton press. I, I tried bending with a, um, with a roller to try to get something that would fit in there. I had a very talented uh, pipe bender who, would, who did not have a mandrel machine who bent me this snake. Unfortunately, it looks like a snake that's eaten about 16 rats. And technically speaking, I could probably have made this something like this work, but just if I'm going to do body work, I don't want to have to deal with filling up these rats, these swallowed rats. But anyway, I didn't love it, so scrap that idea. And probably one of the earliest ideas I had was flat capping. So this is a 18 gauge um, mild steel that I will be able to mold into the proper shape um, and I'll be able to trim it once I get it into, you know, tacked in here. Here it's a good five inches thick and it tapers it tapers, well, it actually tapers out here, tapers in here, goes to about two and a half inches thick here. I'll be able to shear all that off after I, and then, you know, properly weld it in. And then I'll be able to do the little hoopy hoop here, come up here. Uh, I've got a couple nice chunks of sheet metal, uh, the same, out of the same sheet. I bought a whole um, four by 10 foot of sheet metal uh, 18 gauge and they sheared it as uh, I think you have seen on the, the footage that I know I'm editing I'm going to edit in there um, ahead of time by the way I also bought this roll of this flexible uh, galvanized uh, that I was going to stick in here and be able to form form it but it just doesn't address the challenge that I'm going to have with the changing geometry how it comes down to two and a half inches i'd have to form it and cut it and it's just too ambitious for my skill set so uh i'm gonna go with the flat cap and uh hopefully it'll turn out okay so wish me luck seems like every day around my neighborhood is uh grass cutting day um so there's always weed eaters and lawnmowers and grass uh, blowers in the background anyway so I've got just, uh, this metal is, I believe it's cold rolled. It's very, very malleable. Um, what I'm gonna do is start the tacking kind of up here, tack it around. I've left this continuous as long as possible. And we will, uh, I just got it kind of strung up to hold it from flopping around. So I'm gonna start tacking and see what we come up with. Well, I 
I'm gonna clean it up, see if I'm getting penetration and seeing if this shit will hold. And if it does, I will start bringing her in. Looks like I'm getting decent penetration here. I'm not blowing through. Pretty cool. Just kind of trying to figure out stuff as we go along. I think in order to get a better, better purchase on this, I'm gonna cut this right about here, open the door, do the welding, cut it, and then we'll piece in a piece here where we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the whoop de doop anyway. I got a couple pair of some antiques that I've had kicking around for a while. Let's see if any of these work. This is 18 gauge. I think I'm gonna cut it right about here. Should give me plenty. God damn. Yeah, yeah, nah. We're gonna grind that. Thank you very much. Work smarter, not harder, as they say. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now, open this guy back up. And... So you can see where that, um, where those weld marks are right here. And what's happened is when I open the door, this mirror is kind of only folds back so far. So I'm going to cut this out here just so I can relax that metal a little bit. Eventually the door will be welded shut, but um, for now I need to be able to open and close it. So.
Yikes, gotta get my helmet. Don't want to blind myself. Okay, here's where we are. So, I have done the code one that goes on chicken shed. But, uh, you can see I managed to get, you know, good penetration and have not uh, blown through. I welded, welded this on both sides. I'm not worried about a couple little voids here and there because this is just a skin for looks and this whole side is going to be hidden up against the side of the car um, but this is in there this is in there solid actually um, oh well what can I tell you guys oh lord Jesus it's a fire I had this wrapped around my uh, um, rear view mirror so I wouldn't um, fuck up the glass but I caught it on fire melted a little bit of the skin melted a little bit of this rubber boot uh, I can clean it all up. I'm sure I can. I'm hoping I didn't melt, melt the wire. I kind of hid the wire back here to protect it. And uh, because I, I still do want to use the, um, the automatic uh, mirror uh, thingamajuzzi. So anyway, so the next step is I'm going to cut the sheet metal with a grinder to con conform with the, uh, with the door skin. And uh, then I'll grind my welds and see what happens. Uh, did a little bit of initial fitment here. I'm not, I'm not wearing my gloves, but a little persuasion. Um, I gotta notch this a little better um, so this door skin is, is um, flush. But I left this flap here because I'm not sure how I'm going to address this. So I have a flap here I can weld to for my little loopy thingy here. Um, so I think it'll skin together pretty good. So um, one thing I want to say, you know, I'm, I'm getting metal to stick together. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, it might not be uh, NASCAR certified, but it's going to look good and uh, serve my purposes. So uh, I'll let you know what goes on after I... Uh, I uh, cut this, uh, grind this stuff out, and uh, wish me luck. Right on the set, we're rolling. All right, going in. got it trimmed down to the point where there's still a lip and hopefully I'm going to be able to grind it smooth and not completely disconnect the sheet metal. I'm hoping that there's enough of a, of a butt to butt weld, a butt weld there that it adheres. So we shall see. I'll be disappointed if it's not. All you uh, master welders and sheet metal guys, they're probably yelling at the screen right now. Don't do it! You're gonna pop the whole panel. All right, all right, all
clearly I've got some voids which I will come back now that I can get a good shot at them but uh, you know I've ground it down and uh, it is adhering um, I don't know how rough I want to test it but I'll uh, I'll go back and I'll weld these areas with voids so keep at it I'll probably do one area at a time so I don't release a whole panel and then kind of go down the line I've actually got some skins going in here um, progression of my welds got some voids there but overall this is good and solid and this is the progression as I cut off all the extra sheet metal down to my welds and I grind this down and then uh, as I go along I re-weld the areas that need to be re-welded I mean this void I never welded I'm gonna have to stick a coat hanger in there but uh, I'll fill up a couple of these gaps but all in all we've got skin going on the beach buggy all right Hey guys, it's Carl Galler with Carl Galler Builds. Um, at the end of that last little, what was going to be a sneak preview, ended up being the final cut of this latest uh, Beach Buggy Build episode 12. Show me some skin. Finally got uh, some skin on the uh, on the door panel. Hope uh, tried to edit out. I mean, I, gosh, I edited out at least three or four hours into uh, into 26 minutes, I think. I uh, hope you were able to stick with it um, and uh, follow it through the progression. Uh, I figured it was enough mater material, no pun intended, but enough material uh, to constitute an episode. So um, I have put it in the can for your viewing pleasure, and I really hope uh, it is uh, of some pleasure to you. Um, you know, I, I had to edit out some stuff because the sound um, quality was bad. But I kind of did a, a shout out. Of course, I did a shout out to Bad Chad, but uh, Casey's Custom, uh, Derek and Vice Grip Garage, um, Sam Crack, um, Rich uh, Rebuilds, um, Ultimate Rebuilds, some guys down here in Florida. Um, you know, these are guys that I watch every day, and I take a lot from uh, what they do on their channel, and hopefully, I can help you know pass that on a little bit to you guys. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's my latest episode. I really hope you like, hope you share, and uh, uh, above all else, I hope you uh, subscribe. And, you know, just uh, I'm getting some good feedback from some folks, which is kind of cool. A couple of people have, uh, you know, sent me private messages. I love to see the comments. I do my best to uh, quickly comment uh, or to respond to all of your comments. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, Carl Gallard with Carl Gallard Builds. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.